Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We had a super early start, although we went back to bed, but basically the chickens were just going crazy at half past four this morning. And it was literally, oh my God, I need to get that posted. I just looked at a wedding invitation that needs to be in in three days. Um, I need to get that done, actually. Gorgeous invitations. Wish I could show you, actually. They're all like hand done. You can see a little bit there, can you see that? How amazing is that? All hand done. Um, anyway, yeah, so it was like literally like a fox was chasing around chickens. Like it was like so loud. And then looked out the window and they were all just sat on their perch where they usually sit around the tire. All the hens were just screaming at each other. They were literally like cockerels. They, it was just crazy. It was so loud. In the end, Graham had to go out there and like proper shoo them and just shut them up because they were so loud. I was like, oh my God. Did you hear them by? Did you? It was horrendous. Half past four. I was like, seriously, this is I not the that. time to be cock a doo dooing, even though you're a hen. I got up and looked out of the window. It was just, oh, it was awful. And also, my throat. Mommy, I, I don't want to moan about it, but my throat literally felt like knives when I woke up like someone had scraped through my throat I couldn't barely swallow I'm still struggling now I've um I raided the um kind of medical cupboard bit and I managed to find some sort of syrup and then I also found the throat spray which is horrible I'll show you it in a minute it is horrible but it really does work anyway yeah, it was a very eventful Tuesday morning. <laughs> so we got up, well, I woke up at half past four, but thankfully my body was just like, I'm tired, and put me back to bed till about six. And then these little monkeys got up. Alistair's already had breakfast, hasn't he? And it's quarter past seven. He eats this melon. I don't think he does. Mm. Is that because you love it and you're going to eat it all? Bin broke. Literally, it's funny because I was in Ikea about a week and a half ago with my mum and we were looking around at Ikea, obviously. I was mainly looking for studio stuff and then came across this bin. I was like, God, that's a nice bin. It's really big. I think it was about 25 quid. And um, I was like, oh, but I don't need a bin. And I just kind of brushed past it. And literally within, well, I think it was last week, um, my bin just fell apart. Like the lid just, just literally, the springs just fell off it and it just fell apart. And I was like, that was just fake. I obviously was supposed to get that bin. So I'm gonna, I'm actually meeting my friend Sophie today. We always meet in Ikea. So I am gonna be picking up a new bin. And I said to Gray, I said, oh, can you leave me some cash out? Because I wanna get the bin from Ikea. I said, I think it's about 25 quid. It's quite a decent size as well. And um, look, he's given me all fivers. He's like the fiver man. I hate these plastic things. They're so annoying because they don't sort of, um, you know, you can't sort of straighten them out. I am back from the school run. I've had to come back. Um, I've got heavily distracted with obviously trying to sort out this sponsored video. Um, I need to get it up. So thankfully it's only five minutes long, so it shouldn't be too long with the upload. I'm gonna do some now. I'm gonna basically just get everything done and then I can head out and I can publish it while I'm out. Um, yeah, it's 20 to nine. Um, oh, I was gonna show you that throat stuff that I've got. It's called the um, Ultra, I don't even know what that says. Um, it's basically a cherry flavor throat spray, but honestly, this so good. Really, really helps. I'm gonna take that with me. I'm here, I can't just meet lately. She's already in the restaurant, look at this glorious day. Oh, so quiet, I don't know where everybody is. I'm heading to the restaurant to get myself a free coffee. Look, I love all the room set up. So much inspiration. I found the bin, the bin of dreams. Ta -da, ta -da. Ordered. Well, actually, no, picked up, put in the trolley. And I'm with Sophie. I've already said that I'm with you anyway. Hi, little Freya. Cheese. Cheese. Look at the plants. Look at this one. Really pretty. I've done the IKEA shop. Now I'm gonna go be safe again. I'm gonna go have a look in some shops. That's where we are. Primark. I knew we'd end up in here with the Primark ladies having a browse. Right, we've come to this very nifty, authentic place called 
what's it called? Chat time. And we got some iced teas. I got apple iced tea and a she got peach iced tea. Jenga. And we're playing Jenga. <laughs> Child style Jen Jenga. <laughs> right, we've got like um, little balls. Like, yeah, really nice. I've got like, mine's an apple iced tea and then I've got apple like popping balls inside. Gonna be like, what the? It's amazing. We have come into Wilco, getting a water bottle for Alistair because his has just been misplaced. Cleaning section, nothing exciting. I've seen this before. It's like a bigger one. Makes 20 litres. Casually walking around, and my new video has this in it. Four pounds, and it's awesome. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description. I am home, it is half past two, so I'm literally going to be heading out the door in about 10 minutes. But I wanted to come home, obviously, because I just had a bit more time. Um, I'll show you what I got. I didn't really get much. I mean, I got a couple of bits from Ikea. I mainly got that bin, which I showed you. And then we went to Wilco, and I, all I got was these Fragrance Boost. Basically like those ones that are really expensive. I can't remember the brand. Lenore, maybe? Um, so I thought I would try these ones. Um, £2.50, 26 washes, and the smell smells really good. And then I got some ironing water because we've got hard water so bad, and my steam generator just literally obliterates water so quickly. And then um, we went to Matalan. Oh, I got this bag from Wilco as well, this reusable bag, which I thought was quite cool. Went to Matalan, and they'd, I got an email actually a couple of days ago for 20% off. I didn't buy any clothes or anything, but I saw these really cute. Um, hanging geranium things and I've kind of been eyeing them up for ages and they're only six pounds but I've got 20% off them so I got two of these which I'm going to use uh, obviously they're only the fake I'm going to act, use them in the uh, studio and then I think I was mentioning yesterday or in my previous vlog that I wanted one of these and they did them in Matalan so I basically got this for free because it was three pounds it's one of the holding running waters um, a bottle basically just a bottle I probably could have just used a normal bottle I know but that's quite nice it's really really light as well and that is pretty much all I got apart from I got a new front door mat um, and a couple of jars and an apple <laughs> yep gonna have to head off in a minute just checked from Peter Rabbit. Graham popped him outside to enjoy the gorgeous weather. Back from school run. I forgot I was picking up Alistair's friend as well. Because they go to Cubs on a Tuesday. I said I would bring him back. So Alistair's got his little friend here. The only downside to having extra children is that I'm going to have to play it safe with dinner tonight. I was going to do like a kind of like bolognese sauce but with like seafood um, and a bit of fish and then put some like whole wheat pasta through it but since we've got another little boy I kind of I'm gonna have to go down the jack of potato route with beans and salad I think instructions for a bin Let's see if I can get this done I've I think this is how many litres is it? I'm sure it was 60 litres. Too much. Comparison. I'm just having a little bit of a cup of tea alone time. I've been watching the kids in the pool. They are still in the pool, but they're kind of in and out, and I can see them, so they're fine. I'm also going to have one of these. This is my favourite one the cinnamon. Them in Drizzle Square, so good. Um, I've got a spin tonight, I've got my class. And I think I might catch up on Love Island because I didn't watch last night. Dinner in peace for me and Grey. Yeah. The kids are having dinner in the kitchen. This is what we've got. Simple jack potato salad. Right, back home from my spin. It is 8.37, it's getting late. Kids aren't still in bed because Alistair went to Cubs, so to, like Tuesdays are like the late, it's a bit fuzzy, the late um, evenings. Yeah, it was a good session. 
a bit sweaty. Just gonna empty the dishwasher. Your walk at Cubs then, was it good? No? I wear Crocs. Why did you wear Crocs for? I didn't know we were doing one. Silly sausage. So what, did you get stones in your Crocs? Mm -hmm. You had to walk around the forest, didn't you? Did you find things? Yeah, who turns up for a hike in their Crocs, eh? Well, who took him in his Crocs? You did. Who put his Crocs on to go for a hike? I didn't know I was going to go Why on Why didn't you check? Hike. Come on, who's the parent here? Because you already sat in the car. <laughs> Kids in bed, honestly, their chaos on Tuesdays is unreal. I am going to have a quick dip. Why not? A bit hot. <laughs> Peace with Goldie watching me. Oh, it's so nice. I turned it right down because it was, it was getting to the point where the... It was, you know, when you get in a pool and it's just too hot, it just felt ridiculous, especially when it's such a hot day. The kids were getting in it and like, oh, you want to cool off and it just wasn't at that point. So now I've turned it right down. Oh, so it's nice now, it's just perfect temperature. Oh. Who's excited for the summer holidays? I am, I'm super excited apart from I am doing my course. The kids break up on the 20th and I start my course on the 30th of July and I am a little bit worried. Um, I just, it's just gonna be hard. I know it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be five days of like intense, like work. And also you, when you've done the five days, you've got like three exam papers to do. And then they also expect you to do an assignment. Um, and I think it's like six weeks after that you have to hand it in. So I've got plenty of time to do it, but I just, I don't know, I'm just not the best at focusing. And obviously with the kids on school holidays, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna struggle with it, I think. But hopefully, um, hopefully I'll pass. I mean, they're relying on me to pass because they're paying for me to do it. So I'm just, I just hope I can just knuckle down and revise. Just hopped in the pool, we've had cups of tea, and we're watching Bear Grylls with Warwick Davis. It's hilarious. If, I would recommend watching it on catch up if you don't get a chance to watch it. Little Pete, Pete Rabbit, just staring. 